The definition of luxury is usually the absence of functionality, but Glenn still manages to include functionality and still make it feel like it's luxury. Hello, 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 hello! Welcome back to my huge channel, everybody. Another episode where we talk about extremely cool stuff. And you might have seen it from the caption, I guess I will call it like that, what I have ordered. I got a little delivery uh, from a Sweet Postman. It's a delivery of consisting stuff that I usually do not order too much. I mean, I have to say as much as I talk about all these brands that I love and adore and, and uh, their maximalist style or different twisted things, I do not wear it a lot daily and since I'm a very intelligent person, I do not spend all my money on things that I can only crave for, you know, and use as for archive uh, aspects. I usually buy stuff that I also wear, but as I said previously in other videos also, I love to have like different and extravagant and also maximalist pieces in my wardrobe. So I would never call myself a, min uh, the, 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 a minimalist because I think that's just actually a bit boring. And since there's like so much greatness going on out there, why should anyone be simply minimalistic? I don't know, explain. If you know me, if you know some of my videos and I have, I guess, a single dedicated video to Glenn Martins and Y Project, why I think he's a very outstanding designer. I mean, we heard it again, he made this diesel collaboration. I don't want to talk about that, but uh, Overall, I just love him, but I never, I was never really able to get something of him whenever I saw it in a retail store, which is not very frequent. Uh, there are like two or three pieces and these are usually like the most commercial pieces of Glenn. You know, these polo shirts or shirts that are tripled uh, or, you know, these a bit twisted sweaters that we also love. Um, but nothing like too extravagant and too crazy, I would say, but what we see on the runway instead is extremely crazy and cool and I always wanted to own a piece because I think it's a perfect mix of this conservative and um, a bit preppy style and then like extremely edgy design moves, you know, like cutting off things, but in a very focused way. It's not very arbitrarily or anything, but I mean, if you, if you want to talk about design, you can watch my other video. Anyway, we'll have a look. I ordered two pieces and I ordered them from the eShop. Uh, just as a little tip, if you want to support your favorite artists, designers, and they are also like uh, at many retail stores and etc. Also think of um, their own eShop because they make a lot more money if you buy from them directly. And I have to say sometimes the sale or whatever um, action or anything they have is even better. So you can save money and support your favorite designers even more. And this is something I did like five years ago anything when Jack Mus, I have to say it wasn't, uh, I mean, I, he was definitely on my radar. He was like that edgy brand. I have to show you like one or two pieces what Jack Mus was like five years ago for me. And now it's just like a, I'm sorry, um, there are one or, pieces, one or two pieces that I like, but it's actually just a summer dress brand for me now. I want to make this short. So I ordered this and one of the pieces, I mean, it comes, and like this, I mean, I was a bit surprised actually, because this is like, not what I would expect, but I'm like, this is a small brand. Um, it comes from Paris straight away. So I of course took this already out, but to make it a bit more like an unpacking, you know, the thing that we love. Um, okay, it says, I thought it's a manual because guys, that's what we will need. I ordered two dresses and two piece, both pieces, that I absolutely love and was watching for a very long time. Um, here it says, for this dress, I will blend it in here. The conver convertible polo dress is a twist on a classic polo dress with the versatility of wearing it in many ways. Using the adjustable drawstrings, it can be styled in the classical way or styled with a collar draped in, in the front as a halter neck dress. I love this look and I was um, always, you know, I mean, you, I blended it again, I guess. This is insane. I, I love, I have a thing for polo shirts, rugby shirts, you know, everything that is like, you know, you know, these things, tennis stuff, uh, sportswear that is like a bit 
old school and a polo shirt is part of that in my opinion and making it a dress is something cool anyway and, and being made by Glenn Martins is like next level so there's nothing that can top that I have to say uh, okay it's polyester I mean it doesn't have to be wool it's polo but is it is it cotton it is 100% cotton it's just my nose that can't differentiate between cotton and it's made in Portugal okay the new factory of Europe okay this is a cool dress I will dress uh, I will try both uh, dresses on I want to show you them first so it's this oh look at this color uh, black white red I love it the back is kind of open kind of I have no clue at all how to wear this but this is an uh, insane piece and it was like 50% off which is a good price I have to say why project is it's not that you should buy like everything original price, but it's not I mean you can save for it. It's not like you're trying to buy a Chanel by look at my nose. I'm sorry. By the way, I'm sick. Oh. Yes, anyway, I forgot it. And this is the second one. You you know what I mean? I mean I remember H&M deliveries come like this. So this is something very heavy. Fall winter 20, by the way. Spring summer 21, so they have both collections apparently. This is a knit dress that I absolutely love. I mean, what better thing than taking a very classical piece and turning it into something extremely insane, something disruptive, modern, but still, you know, you have this feeling of this very old school knitted um, style. Actually, I will pretend I haven't worn it, worn it yet for you. I have to say, it has a it, it's cotton but it has this it has a very strong a bit stronger smell i do not know so this is the dress i mean look at this it's insane you have like it seems like first of all i thought that this is a print this white part here but it's not uh, i will come closer with the camera this is dia diagonal diagonal and um yeah it seems like this typical skiing jacquard knit and but it's a dress and this part is twisted but i will wear it and then you will see how it um, looks exactly so let's start with a little peep show as my mom would say is this okay well yeah this is what, what happens when you buy men's shirts guys okay okay so i will try this on um what i would assume now is go into these sleeves but not into the red shirt, you know? I can wear it, I guess, three ways. I can use this shirt as a typical shirt, you know, this is the back of it, and this is the front. I can just use the sleeves without the front, you know, getting in like this, and still my head through this, I would say. You know, like this. Oh, okay. Um, you should see my whole body, I guess that would be a bit more intelligent. And is this too high? Uh, I would say I need to go in the skirt. Uh, okay, awkward thing here. You know, you see where um, where the skirt is? It's here beneath my bottom. Um, okay, first try. And the back would be like this, so it's pretty open. I couldn't wouldn't be able to go out like this. Okay. Next, next version. The actual, the coolest look is to grab these, these things here, get your arm into it. Glenn, please, we need a manual. What is this? Maybe I have to twist it. Like, I mean, I cannot wear it like that. Ugh. Is it like this? Okay, I, I actually I'm not sure if I'm keeping it, so I'm sorry for the etiquette, but it, it needs to stay inside because I'm not sure if I will be ever able. Ah, okay, it needs to be twisted, guys. I don't think it's right. Still, um, you have. I think it's a nice back cut. You know, okay. it's pretty deep on the sides. This is how it would look. I like it. Uh, okay, it has no pockets. I like that it's now not that loose here anymore. Um, and, but this is a very interesting dress. I mean, this is something 
Of course, we have seen Amanda with this look. Um, I have to say I loved it prior, but uh, who else could just pull it off than Amanda? London girl in New York City, you need to follow her. She has, I think, the best style on the internet. Oh, okay, it's pretty sweet. I have no idea where I can wear this. It's not something for a wedding. And even if it is, to how many weddings are we going? I don't know, maybe to the city? I love it. Um, I will probably keep it just for the sake of having it. So this was dress number one. It's, I wouldn't say a yes, but still, I guess there still is a better option. And then you're like, bye. I love it. Why project? Glenn, we love you. The definition of luxury is usually the absence of functionality, but Glenn still manages to include functionality and still make it feel like it's luxury. Okay, this. Okay, I didn't uh, push it down. Really. This is how this dress looks like. This is how it looks. Uh, it gives like strong vintage um, knit vibes. It's it's a dress. This thing here is like again the second body. You know, like your dead twin to your body. It's twisted. It has an inlay to make it a bit smoother. And for you to have a better look. I love that this is not straight. This changes like so much. Uh, here, what's fun is like you have two shoulders, like in total three then, because this is normal. And then you have here like here's a little peak and here. So you could you can also have three, which is which is cool. Okay, this is an awkward perspective. I guess I would wear it with other tartan shoes. It has an awkward feeling because it feels like this needs to be like this. But if it would be like this, it would be too clean, I guess. So it needs to stay like this. Wow, this is this is some funny, funny business. And this is the only reason why I love fashion. It's just funny. I have like three shoulders. Three. I have this feeling, for example, here. See that? I guess it's on purpose because even if it would rip like totally, it's on purpose. That's a good thing about Glam Martins is everything seems like it's supposed to be like that. And my first um, thought was, okay, this is not gonna hold for too long. So to wrap this whole thing up a little bit, I would say um, both pieces are insane, very well made. I'm not sure about the dress yet still because it's very complicated. And whenever it looks cool, it is very open, you know, it's very naked. And I do not know if the, that is really, you know, usually I do not have these kind of occasions where I feel comfortable wearing these kind of things. Um, but it's definitely an option. This one was cost less and is easily to wear. And since I'm always cold, you know, I can blend in with my furniture. So what else can I want? So I just wanted to share this real quick with you because I had never ordered anything from Red Project uh, at the online shop. And um, I knew that I, one of the pieces would be extremely hard to, to, to understand without a manual how to wear it. So I thought we will just experience that together because I thought that's funny. So that's been it. Do not forget to subscribe also. Follow me on Instagram. Um, yeah, see you next week. We're not seeing each other next week. And tell me how you liked it, you know, talking about designers and unpacking stuff again. I think it's only interesting if it's like pieces that are interesting, you know, not like unboxing, just um, basic stuff, I would say. So I will, uh, if you like it, I can do that more often if I have enough cash to order these things. But if I have, I will do it. And do not forget to subscribe um, and watch my other videos and see you to the next one.